Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special sort of extra little review episode. Basically today, we're going to be looking at this cheap and cheerful and completely unbranded LED clock. The reason why I'm not doing this as a proper episode is because this doesn't really count as a tech device, but I see it on sale on a lot of tech websites as well as tech stores. So I thought, well, why not? Anyway, this clock comes in three different sizes as well as a large variety of different color schemes. And that includes both the color of the wood itself as well as the LED color. In terms of its features, it tells the time, it tells the date, as well as the current temperature, which you can change between, you know, Celsius or Fahrenheit. The clock has a 12 hour or 24 hour mode, depending on what you like more, as well as three distinct alarms. There are several display modes. There's one in which the clock actually cycles through the time, the date and the temperature and just keeps going. Or of course, you can leave it on the time setting itself. The clock also has a power saving mode. In this mode, basically the screen goes off after about 10 to 15 seconds and you'll have to actually tap the device to wake it up to see the time. This is useful if you're running the clock on batteries, which by the way, it does support. You can either use three AAA batteries or you can use, well, AC power. And basically the connection terminates in USB. So you can use this with any phone charger. So yeah, it's a pretty little device, though I would say the aspect ratio is kind of suspect here. The smallest one actually comes in a square shape, but the display is just this tiny rectangular strip in the center. So that's a little bit weird. The largest one is really huge. And yeah, the display actually fills up the entire thing. So it looks really nice. In terms of its cons, there are two disadvantages I can think of. Firstly is the fact that it is really bright. Now, this is sort of a double-edged sword in terms of, you know, whether it's a pro or a con in your book. Of course, that makes it really easy to see even under bright light conditions. But at night, that kind of hurts your eyes. So there are two ways you can actually go about solving this problem. You can, of course, put it in power saving mode. So you have to actually tap it to wake it up. Personally, I didn't really want to do that because, well, I wanted to just be able to see the time whenever I wanted to. So the alternative is to actually, well, build your own filter. It is so bright that you can actually just stick a sheet of paper in front and it will shine right through. So yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Another disadvantage is the fact that this clock actually uses a little battery on the inside to sort of keep the memory going. Even when it's disconnected from power, it's going to remember the time. And the way it does this is by that battery. According to the manual, this battery will last for one year. So not only is that quite short, what that also means is if you forget about this battery, it might start to leak and create more problems. But luckily the battery is not built in. You can actually remove the battery. So hopefully that wouldn't be too big of an issue for you. I have actually had, you know, electronics get destroyed by backup batteries. So this is kind of a legitimate concern. Now, another disadvantage of this unit is that even though the connector is supposedly USB, well, the other end is not quite as friendly as it's supposed to be. This seems reminiscent of, you know, some of the classic adapters. So yeah, that means if this cable breaks, you're gonna have some problems actually replacing it. So yeah, that's basically it for this review. This is just a very pretty clock. And what is extremely cool about this is also the fact that there is really no screen part. In fact, when I turn it off, it just looks like a wooden box. And when you switch it on, the digits basically just shine through the wood, which I thought was a very cool design. So yeah, just a quick little bonus episode for you. That's all there is for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.